Hi and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Pro Series Adventure X CE Airbag Textile Jacket which is their Adventure Touring Jacket and it costs £499.99p. RST have made a big name for themselves over the years, but it's mostly come about through racing. Alongside that though, they've had a very popular range of adventure textile suits. This is the latest and it incorporates bang up to date technology because there's an airbag inside with sensors. High tech stuff, not your lanyards that are connected to the bike. So the airbag inside is by a company called In and Motion. RST aren't the only people to use that airbag. There are other clothing companies that incorporate it. But what's different about RSTs is that it's integrated inside. The other companies have it as a separate vest that you wear on its own underneath their jacket or it's attached inside by means of clips or zips. This one is fixed inside. If you buy this jacket, you get the airbag with it. It's included in the price. What you don't get is the electronic brain, like the ECU you'd have on your bike, which controls the unit. That needs to be either bought separately for a one-off cost or you can lease that, it's monthly or annual. We won't go into too much detail about the airbag itself because the plan is to make a separate video that goes into all the details you could ever want about that and then we'll put a link to that video in the description for this one so you can have a look and check out all of those technical details. So other than the airbag that's inside, this jacket is identical to the Straight Adventure XCE that RST also sell, which is 200 pounds less. So that's $299.99. So the two jackets are the same other than the airbag, the outer structure, the outer shell, all the details I'm going to go into are the same. It's made from RST's Maxtex fabric, which is designed to provide abrasion resistance, and that's the main shell, although there's extra ballistic material at the shoulders and the elbows, which gives you a little bit stronger protection against abrasion and against tear for those main impact sites. You've also got which is derived from RST's race suits, the plastic shoulder sliders here that reduce friction in the event of a spill. The abrasion and tear resistance from the outer shell combines with body armour on the inside, at the shoulders, the elbows and the back, so it's a full set, and all of them are rated to level two, the higher of the two standards within CE. So can't argue with the level of protection, impact protection there. So externally, plenty of features that are designed to help with adventure riding where you could potentially be very busy in the saddle uh, over a long trip or with your off-road riding. Mostly that centres around ventilation. The key inlet areas are two short zips at the collarbones here on either side. You also have full arm length vents running from bicep to wrist and that runs a two-way zip. So you can have the top open, the bottom open, or you can have them open all the way to get a really good amount of airflow through. Largest sections of airflow are delivered by these two panels here. Unzipping these panels and then revealing them using Velcro fasteners underneath these two overlays you can tuck that panel inside the shell and that reveals a full mesh area to get a really copious amount of air through. Further practicalities on the front pockets here and here which are fastened by popper and velcro for storage. One thing to note, there's no hand warmer pocket, they're stitched along at the edge here so you can't tuck your hands into the side to keep them warm while you're stood around off the bike. The main fastener, there's nothing terribly revolutionary about this. It's a Velcro storm flap with poppers securing it at the base and then behind it is a zipped main fastener. Behind there you've got the linings which I'll get to in a moment and access to a Napoleon pocket so you can keep your essentials close to your chest. So turning our attention to the back of the jacket there are long vents at each shoulder blade. Again, they're operated by two-way zips, so you can tune the amount by which they're open. There's extra copious sections of light reflective material. Pocket-wise, there's capacity here for a water bladder, so you can drink while you're on the move. And then the tube feeds through this opening here, 
through this loop on the shoulder and then comes up inside the helmet so that you can drink while you're on the move. The bladder for this is available separately and there's a link to that item in the description for this video. The second pocket is what looks to be a fairly traditional mat pocket at the base of the spine but this one differs slightly in that you're able to remove that and it has an integrated strap so you can use it as a separate carrying bag when you're not on the bike to keep your essential items with you when you're on a tour. So let's talk about what's on the inside because there's quite a departure in the inside from what RST have done before with their adventure suits. Previously they've had separate waterproof and thermal liners so you could ride with either of them fitted at any one time. This one combines the waterproof and thermal linings into one. RST say that is to reduce bulk and they say that the majority of their test riders only ever ride with both liners in or with no liners in depending on the on the temperature they want it to either be really warm and dry or they want it to be really airy something that a lot of the customer reviewers of the non airbag jacket have found that's only because we haven't had any customer reviews of the airbag jacket yet this jacket because it's so new but what those customer reviewers have pointed out is that that's less than ideal when it's warm and it's wet if you want this jacket to be dry you need to have the thermal lining on the inside with it whether that's something that affects you is an entirely personal decision, but if it's going to be an issue with you, RST suggests that a suit like their Maverick, which runs separate waterproof and thermal liners, may be more suited to road touring, whereas this is aimed at people who are actually likely to be riding off-road and want that greater amount of air to be flowing in. One area where you do get flexibility over choosing whether to be warm is this quilted collar liner that just clips in place that's something that just gives you a little bit more insulation and support around the neck for those really cold days and also if it's if it's really airy the collar here is able to be secured back and away using this popper so it's fastened closed with velcro here or it can be popped back on a popper the final feature on the inside is a long connection zip to attach these to the matching trousers, the Adventure X CE textile trousers, which are £219.99 a pair. RST are really proud to be able to offer Innermotion airbags integrated into their clothing, and it's something they're doing in a wider range of their jackets from now on. They feel that over the next few years they're going to become increasingly common, and before long they will be as widespread as body armour is today. We'll let you debate whether you think that's realistic in the comment section if you like. But we think this is an impressive addition to what's already on the market and there will be lots of people who will be attracted to this. I hope that covers everything you want to know about the RST Adventure X CE textile jacket. But if there's anything you feel we've missed, please pop your question in the comments below and we'll do our best to get an answer for you as soon as we can. Thanks very much for watching.